I love this show. It's like a, you guys were like two, two thirty, three. I feel like I'm showing up for a black comedy set in a black room. <laughs> <laughs> Show up whenever. <laughs> well, sometimes we're Do like, your time. Yeah, yeah. whatever. Light. The show starts at two, three, six, seven. <laughs> we kind of like it to feel like a bar. So sometimes the guest comes like twenty minutes late or something. Yeah. yeah. Hey, we're here. We're here. Keep that in. Uh, <laughs> we might be drunk. We're back. We're gay. We're doing it. Uh, we got whiskey here. We got uh, Sean Patton. We got Giannis Pappas. Yeah. We're cooking. Oh, the world's in a crazy place. Yeah. And you, we, we've been, you guys have been here for 18 years. Yeah. New York City. Yeah. New Yorkers, buddy. New I'm, Orleans in New York right now. New Orleans. Yeah. What's the, oh, what, is right. the, what is the requisite now, year wise, to be like, now nah, you're a fucking New Yorker? You, you guys are New Yorker. Yorkers. You guys got it? New Yorkers. Yeah. Yes. You guys I think Yorkers. like 10 years you're in. Ten, All right. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah. yeah, I think 10 years. You cut a ribbon. You, yeah. You've been mugged. Have you? Three times. <laughs> have you slept with a transsexual? <laughs> three times. <laughs> Today. So it co it comes York. in threes. <laughs> so whatever you ask next, you're going to say yes. So does he. Norton married a trans person. He should get a key to the city. <laughs> Officially, the mayor. <laughs> All right. But, so this, by the way, this is this is the new batch of Bodega Cat. We're fucking sold out. Yeah, we're sold out. Wow. And uh, so this is the new batch. It's three years instead of two years. So I thought we could sample some of the new shit we're getting here. It's just fucking cyanide. Yeah. <laughs> this, is it. this is the biggest watch podcast of all time. We're all dead in the pen. <laughs> Wait, is it, this says this says sample proof ninety four. Yeah, that's a ninety four proof. Is yeah, it, what, so that's not that crazy. Is it like a grappa? It's like a real nut. It's rye. It's 94% alcohol? Shit. Yeah. It's good shit. No, proof is... Proof. It's, no, it's 47% of it's So you 94. could like legit clean your asshole with this. Yeah. Yeah, you can put that in the bidet. Yeah. Yeah. You Cheers. can clean out a wound. Bidet cat. Yeah, bidet cat. <laughs> but they clean bidet out a wound. cat. An emotional wound. Swing. Just a taste. We got three, two more. That's fucking nice. That's a good yeah. one. Wow. Yeah. That's pretty huh? good. I like to pretend like I know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. Oh, that's yeah, nice. Yeah, you see when you nice. swirl, you see the legs. Yeah, yeah that's lovely. Yeah. Oh, Let it man. open up. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> oh, you know, I could, I could uh, it's like a, a handful of almonds. What is that? Is that from spring? Scotland or a warehouse in Brooklyn? <laughs> 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 Those are the two options. <laughs> no, we could pull off of Scotland. No, we're not doing no. scotch. We're yeah. fucking... We're whiskey guys. Yeah, I don't know. Originally there's, Indian. There's certain parts of Scotland yeah. you go to where you're like, oh, you guys, <laughs> yeah. you guys got this kind of shit too. <laughs> Let me just do an ad for that or something. An ad? Oh no, that was Donnelly and and McCaffrey, right? Uh, got McCaffrey Germain. and Saint Germain. I don't know, but every time <laughs> someone confuses me with Sean Donnelly, <laughs> it was the group. Yeah, the group. Motherfucking, <laughs> I'm kidding. I love that dude. Yeah, um, but it happens. Somebody, somebody's gonna do this pod and be on the episode where that dog dies. <laughs> don't say, don't fucking say that, It'll just dude. Be on Wait, air. what? Like there will be an episode. Oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. You got to have like an EMT on I... call here while you. We do. Yeah. We do yeah. in the back. Yeah. That's a good point. <laughs> you want yeah. to? If, if it tasted this, it would. I was die. about to say. Let's give it a sip. This is. I mean, I'm not gonna lie to you. You know this. I, the first time I had Bodega Cat, I was like, oh, whatever. And now uh, the last time I had it, which was two nights ago at the cellar. Well, or like maybe crazy. a week ago when there was a bottle you guys yes I was like oh this is this is matured this is very this is nice very Whatever good this is yeah this is where really have you guys good. gotten this into cellar the stand we're working comedy clubs and then branching out nice and yeah, but we got you uh, know uh why doesn't every comedy club carry that they, they, have, they will they should, they should have they will the pour, they should just yeah porosos have you had that it's good never heard of it <laughs> <laughs> have you never, wait burke kreischer do you know that guy no. <laughs> Fully loaded. Have you have you heard of this thing? Nah. <laughs> I'm working on a whiskey. Whiskey. A cruise ship last October. Do you remember? <laughs> Who's going to die first, bird or the dog? Who do you think? They had to pick. Both are shirtless. Uh, <laughs> Sean, we should work on a uh, on a drink. You yes. know, called like Korean market dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Crotch sweat. <laughs> That's Korean market dog. Yeah. <laughs> Wawa's wolf. <laughs> <laughs> Gas station gecko. <laughs> I don't Bodega even know what that is. Bodega good fucking a good name. name. Hey, yeah. thank yeah. you. We, we, yeah. That's a Giannis Papas and a Colin Quinn endorsement. Yeah, that is yeah. a good the name. name. Yeah, Has anybody is... been like, fuck this dumb name? Oh, yeah. Really? Oh, yeah, my dad. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, a couple people. Some people are like, I don't get it. They don't know. They don't live here. Yeah. I, I feel like you don't. That's one of those New York things you don't even have to live here to know about, yeah. though, right? 
Uh, yeah, bodega yeah. cat? You think everywhere's got a cat. The farms have a cat. You know, a general store's got a cat. Yeah. If you made a tequila, would it be bodega gato? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? I like we got, we got some stops. Out. The, we went to the Brooklyn convention, and we got some people stopping like, my dad ran a bodega. I want to try this. And we're like, all right, we got the fucking, the they two didn't blue New Yorkers. like that, though. Well, they were like, yeah. my dad ran a bodega. <laughs> my dad used to have a bodega. <laughs> Before <laughs> he was deported. <laughs> hey, my fucking dad had Hello, a shop like my that. my dad used to have a bodega as well. <laughs> <laughs> wait a second, are you Shammy Morell's kid? Like, wait, There's a 0% chance you go to a bodega and see a Caucasian man. That's just not, <laughs> it is. Uh, my, friend, I mean, my friend's I mean, dad ran buying, when he was Greek. <laughs> buying yeah. Greek had a bodega? White yeah, Greek. Some Greeks. He did say Caucasian. Yeah. It's Greek uh, yeah, it's we, Greek's not. Yeah. It's Sorry. Quite, it, Greeks depends, are, it depends. Light skinned Greek. Culture. Yeah. Does Greek not count as Caucasian? I think no. Greek. Caucasian solely white? I figured out what the Greek. I thought was. Greek was white. This is the thing with the all Greek. Right. I figured it out. It's all based on socioeconomic status. Mm. So if you're a rich Greek, you're white. If you're a mm. poor Greek, you're Puerto Rican. <laughs> That's Puerto Rican. Yeah. It's, in, it's in the name, Puerto Rican. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I can't be the first guy to get there. Come on, yeah. there's no fucking way I'm the first guy to get to Puerto Rico. No, That's you come with it. No, there's no way. I don't. I've never there's heard no it. I'm, we're from here. Never heard it. Yeah, there's rich Puerto Ricans. You got J Lo. Yeah, of course. That's uh, about it. Uh, That's where it falls off. That's yeah. Uh, Is there another one? Yes, uh, baseball. Uh, baseball. Baseball. Oh. Baseball, you can have Saifa. Saifa, but Saifa. even though he can't speak Spanish. Saifa, yeah. True, true. Yeah. Yeah. Now, do we try the other one? Matt, by the way, Matt, don't trim this part for YouTube, please. <laughs> let's uh, keep it in, but let's not maybe promote this part. <laughs> by the way, J-Lo's numbers are plummeting. You see that? No one's yeah. selling tickets. I feel better when I can't sell than I see J-Lo is out. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's so, there's so many reasons to not leave the house now. Yeah. True. Just distraction wise. Especially when your house is sixty million dollars. Yeah. I'm I mean, well, I'm talking about people buying tickets. Oh, I meant J Lo. Oh. Not going on tour. <laughs> what, at you what know? point do they go, I did it? Well, at what point does J Lo or Madonna go, why do you want to go out again? Never. Uh, she's yeah. she's in the midst of a divorce again. She probably wants to tour. Right. When I was this in the time when I was in Atlanta earlier this year, I went and saw Madonna. Yeah. Really? Um, still You did? Still still swinging big, dude. It's crazy. Dude, really? he's still up there fucking in cages, dangling over wow. audiences. That something, the entire, all of her dancers were topless, but they were men and women. And there was something about the mix of the two where you were like, oh yeah, those, it's all tits. Yeah. Whoa. This is great. This is all tits. Yeah. They should just, yeah, topless beaches tomorrow. Yeah. How'd she look? Because her face is a little banged up. I mean, up. She, she, looks she looks 65 years old. Yeah. 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 She looks yeah, yeah, yeah. different. Very yeah. different. Oh, yeah. Holy yeah. shit. Yeah, she's not... I love You're doing not, Mars Attacks. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> kind of as a dolas. Oh, that's oh, Madonna. Oh, oh shit. That's Madonna. Oh, I thought you were about to say, like, this is someone who went to the concert and got I'll fucked this, up and got stung by bees. Confidently, I will still smash that. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, for, yeah. The, e for the story. story. Wait, yeah. was anybody there? By the way, I love when people say for the, for the story. I fuck Madonna. Gross. That's yeah. the whole story. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, was anyone there that night at the, at the <laughs> was on stage and was like, I fuck no, just straight up. Wait, should what? we not? Maybe we shouldn't be repeating that. He said it to a state, an audience full of people. I mean, I All guess right. their phones are locked up, but he said it to a lot audience full. I of think people. that's pretty known. Yeah. Oh, really? That he did that. Known, yeah. yeah. Right. Wow, good for the him. part that's not. Yeah, this known. is not an insult to him. Yeah, <laughs> no, it wasn't an insult. I just don't know if he like yeah. maybe he sold he told it because the phones were locked up. Mm. Right. Could be the case. Ah, uh, good point. But just bleep that all out. Did yeah. you know? Beep, 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 yeah. beep, 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 beep. <laughs> <laughs> so I hope. I had to follow her. She opened for uh, Schumer at the Garden. She wanted to go on and do five. She did stand up. She was trying to do stand up for like ten minutes. She did Fallon. I remember that. And mm -hmm. so she's like, "I want to go on." It sold out at the Garden. She died, and I got to follow her and do well. Did it was you crash like, her? A little. What do you say? I said something like, uh, "I fucked her backstage. I thought she'd be funny or something yeah. like that." And uh, you know, like a virgin at stand up. I made a couple <laughs> zings. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, she was so bad that I got. I was the hero. Yeah. So you're like, showbiz is crazy. I'm going on after Madonna at the Garden. <laughs> Wait, what's the? Okay, I'm trying to now make up fucking jokes with Madonna songs. Yeah. Only thinking two. Uh, <laughs> like a prayer for this oh, to end. Yeah. <laughs> that was <laughs> Pull horrific. up her. Pull up her Fallon set because she she did. She did stand up on television. She did yeah. it on Fallon. Oh. Wait. Oh, this is okay. So, um, <clears throat> anyways, I just always think that it's good to talk about what you know. That's what. That's what I do. I just talk about what I know, right? So I'm gonna um And talk about getting with, fucked uh, by 
the yeah. younger men. <laughs> yes, girl. How about that? You guys think Jade, that's funny? Who, wait, who'd she marry? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you do, don't you? Okay. Oh, stone face. Anyway, so it's true. I date younger guys. Um, and I have my reasons, but I'm not going to go into them. Uh, so, but I did find myself very strangely the other day at breakfast with my son Rocco thinking, um, I haven't had a date in a couple of weeks. And I looked at my son without thinking and I said, um, do you have any friends you could introduce me to? Oh! Someone at Net someone at Netflix was like, let's give her a special. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's give her a three, three, uh, three hour deal. Yeah. <laughs> See, I think I went on after and I was like, I'll be your friend or something like that, you know? Hey, hey folks, we might be drunk as brought to you, but she, if you're tired of having your dick stuck to your balls, your balls stuck to your leg, your leg stuck to your dick, it's time to try sheets underwear. Sheets is incredible. They make underwear with two pouches, put your dick in one and your balls in the other. It's a game changer, baby, whether you're working in the office or hitting the track on a sunny day. Here's the thing. Uh, much like Israel and Palestine, rollerbladers and skateboarders, and uh, what's that other group that does it? Russia and Ukraine. Much like them, they need some separation. You know, you and your spouse, uh, you and your kids, you got to separate. You don't all sleep in the same bed, so why should you sack and your nuts and your cock and your balls and your shaft? Why should they all be touching all the time? Separation is key. A little alone time. A little uh, getaway. They have tons of colors and patterns that fit your style while making sure you feel comfortable and secure. It's a hot summer. Let them breathe. Go to sheetsunderwear.com and use code DRUNK to get 20% off your first order plus sheets underwear 100% money back guarantee. That's sheetsunderwear.com. Promo code DRUNK. But let me just say this about Madonna. Let me say this about Madonna. How great is this this brilliant icon performer can't do stand up? I love that she can, you know, shake her ass and change the world and like we would have Taylor Swift and all these women without Madonna. And yet she can't do an act. It makes me feel better about stand up. I think we should all start branching out into other because it seems like everybody just wants to do stand-up. Let's branch out into liquor ownership. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. It's very, it's not an easy business. I don't <laughs> no, recommend it. No. Make a coffee or something. I was going to say, let's find, let's start a fucking rap group. Let's find fucking, yeah. what's his name? What was his name? God damn it. Hannibal New York Burst. comic. Now, Hannibal's back. Tom McCaffrey. Tom McCaffrey. Yeah. <laughs> but it only works if you're that famous. Because no one wants yeah. to hear like a middle of the fucking road musician do stand-up. Yeah. yeah, although they'd probably be better. Didn't John yeah. Mayer do it as well? He did, yeah. and he failed. See? Oh, dude, that was yeah. bad. That was that era was fucking dog shit. Because he was, because he wasn't just doing clubs. He was popping into like bar shows. Yeah, yes. remember the night him and Kame he went yes. at Kamel. Yes, he pull went that at him. Up. So is it online? I, I don't think it, it went viral or no, something. No, the news was, story did. The thing was, he fucking he went on stage at Sweet and wouldn't get off stage. And then eventually, Seth was like, "I got to The next comic has to go on." And John goes, "Let me bring him on." And then he says, "All right." And Seth says, "Kamel Nanjiani." And then John goes. That, uh, and then does the thing that people did with Kamel, where it's like, how do you pronounce that? Uh, <laughs> just say what it, it's fully fucking phonetic. Yeah. Kamel Nanjiani. And you, then. You're only in video here. I think you got to go to like the news. But then, yeah, after the fact, he like. Yeah, they went at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Kumail was at the peak, at the height of his and game. Kamel held his own. He fucking. He, yeah, he flattened him. him. Yeah, he, yeah. He said, like, your set wasn't a wonderland, something like that. <laughs> it was he labeled an accidental racist after that. Oh, Ooh. accidental. Pretty good. Accidental. <laughs> Better than a, a proven racist. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. No, there's no accidental racist. No one's no one's leaving a cross on your lawn like, oops. oops. <laughs> <laughs> I fucked up. <laughs> I feel terrible. Whoops. <laughs> I meant to say bigger. <laughs> By the way, isn't it great as a Nick fan that um, nobody calls a New York Nick a New York Nicker? Oh yeah, uh, I, yeah, that would it's be just bad. Too long, yeah. it works too, too long. long. Yeah, or Knickerbocker long. the first yeah, time. Yeah, like you just. Yeah. Hey, are you a knicker? That's just. It's better to say. <laughs> yeah, dude. Nick. 
I wonder why they don't do that. <laughs> Wait, why don't they do that? You well, think? technically, they're the Knickerbockers. So, <laughs> yeah. But somebody made the choice, like, let's go Knicks. Let's yes. Go Knicks. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. They, they didn't just. <laughs> yeah, they didn't go. Yeah, yeah. Knicker, please. I missed, his, I missed his phase where he was popping in. But he, I, he was there one night at the cellar. Remember when he was yeah. dating Katy Perry? Yeah, they were yeah. hanging out. They were just, like, hard. hanging out. Oh, yeah. Man, he that, loves us. They really yeah. strung that season together. It was really knicker rigged. <laughs> I'm just saying, uh, there's a reason. Uh, those are, it's, it's just, at some point, someone said, let's go with Nick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I, I fully agree with that decision as well. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, those Nickers yeah, got too, whooped But isn't it Kamal week. yelling at this guy sort of like when you see those conservative pundits go to college campuses Ooh. and beat up like a 19-year-old intellectually? You're like, come on. Interesting. Well, yeah. no, no, because no, he went at Kamal. I was, yeah, that's true. He yeah, went at Kamal. He went 100% true. at Kamal. Yeah. And also the, the idea of yeah. like doing the set and then running the light, and then yeah. obviously he was bombing. Yeah, there's no way it was yeah. going well. Mm -hmm. just, there's a lot of ego there. Yeah, oh yeah. And and then it's like I'm famous, so I can fucking go to toe to toe. But no, but he's worked this muscle, and you haven't. Right. It's yeah. that simple. Right. I know what it feels like though when you're bombing. And you're like, let me just chill. one more, one more. I'll get oh, it. Yeah. I think you oh can yeah. Turn it around. We've so, all been there. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, that's but Jesus Christ. Yeah. But also, he's like, it's like, what do you, what do you need this for? What do you want this for? Yeah. Well, I think there's an mm. emptiness that comes with success, no? That, yeah. and I think as a musician, you're not really getting anything out audibly. Like, you're not really saying what you want to say. You're just like, she's hot, I love her. You're not actually going, hey, this guy's ugly, or whatever. You gotta, with comedy, you can actually say what you're thinking. Good also, point. They, and they, also, if you don't do the hits, they get mad. If you that try too. something new that too. for your soul, they're like, shut sometimes, up! Sometimes they like it, but he's another one where he's funny enough, so like, in between songs, he'll get a big pop, because Huge. he's- He's pretty funny. Yeah. Oh, for a musician, oh, no, he's no. funny. Yeah. For a musician. So I, you, we've all seen it, though. You see a musician live, and they get their like little staple lines, their little one-liners, yeah. and it kills. And then the, and part of them is like, well, if I got a big laugh there. Yeah. yeah right, right. You know what's actually funny as fuck is Killer Mike. Oh, really? I saw him. I saw it, like Run the Jewels open for uh, Rage Against the Machine like two years ago at the Garden. Fantastic show. And he was just saying shit between shows. You're like, oh. But was it low bar funny? Like, oh, he's not supposed to be funny, so that's pretty good. I mean, it, was, it was like witty. It was just like okay. in the moment, like, okay, fuck yeah. It was, it was, it was funny. It's also like that guy's been around. Yeah, not I'm like not saying they can't be old. funny. I'm just saying it's a huh. different. If it's a different muscle to do a. Oh, absolutely. Set. Yeah, it's not. A, it wasn't like comedy set funny, but it was like, oh, hell yeah. I heard a story yeah. that about, that he <laughs> bumped a tell one night. And Attell was like, yeah, fine, we go on. But then he, he was running a little bit. Mm. And Attell went on after, zinged him, and was like, did you think you earned it? Nah. <laughs> like one of those. Ooh. We were like, Jesus. Oh, I'd hate to go on after that yeah. or before that. Because it doesn't matter how famous you are. <laughs> I wouldn't want David Tell to, to say that to me. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. That's what's that's... great about being a comic is you can, you can win in that world nowhere else. Yeah. We lose yeah. everywhere else. But in that moment, <laughs> It's we literally got... the one place we have. Yeah, that's it. Point. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, well, I mean, like a guy like Louis C.K. can shine looking like that, but that guy at a you know a speed dating is getting walked walked over. That's true. Yeah, well, I mean, true. unfortunately though, there's a lot of very pretty people who are considered good now. Yep. Yeah, you know what I mean. Which yeah. whatever, I don't give a fuck. Yeah. But you got well, you're you got, one of them. You, you, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 You're like Santa if he's off duty. Exactly. exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I've said it before. I'm like, if you're attracted to me, you're making a choice. I respect this choice. I encourage it, but yeah. fuck. Choice. No, you got nice eyes. You're a good looking guy. Great I, eyes. I, yeah, I'm not like, like I don't. A Captain Morgan. Yeah, type of way. I'm, I'm confident in, but I also know it's a blind sort of just reckless confidence. <laughs> <laughs> you know where I'm like I'm just walking into a bee's hive right now and fuck it I'm gonna get stung yeah. but let's do it you know yeah I already look like I've been stung yeah yeah quite yeah. too many but you on stage is very passionate and I think oh, women yeah. respond to that yes yeah I mean it's it's and unpredictable which is nice like you're like what's he gonna do what's he gonna say what's yeah, I don't know man going? I feel like I feel like a lot of audiences have downgraded and don't want that anymore they want to be flirted with. Yeah, there was a time bit. when comedy was about challenging the audience. Now the really like some of the shit you watch, like they're just flirting with the audience now. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's all point. they're doing. Yeah, yeah. Well, you, know? you make a good point. Now, yeah. now I'm going macro. Go macro. The bit. dating world is all fucked up right now. Men and women aren't connecting. So maybe there's some weird thing to like. Hey, I'm talking to a hot guy. I'm yeah. a I'm a young blonde in the audience. I'm talking to a hot guy. 
We're all getting laughed. We're all flirting. Mm. It's sexual. Maybe that's kind of a a missing thing that people are craving. Yeah, we're finally okay. making yeah. eye contact. Yes. Yeah. yes. Ryan yes. Hamilton's got that great joke where he'll just go out on stage and be like, you guys are the first people I've talked to today. Exactly. <laughs> wait, but Ryan, it's real. Yeah. Ryan said, I mean, wait, oh, shit. I've said that too. Oh, really? <laughs> I've said that before. On stage. Well, we've all had it's that. true. You walk out. It's a like, real thought. It's yeah. 7.30 p.m. I haven't yes. spoken to another human being yet. Yeah. That's why I think well, Ryan's autistic, awesome, yeah. Autistic people have an advantage. <laughs> I think maybe <laughs> autism no, may doesn't. be humans evolving to uh, you know, survive in the AI era. Ooh. It could be, this could be Darwinism happening. Ooh. You know how sort of like the industrial revolution was sort of propelled by uh, Irish people? Yeah, uh, Like that's hard. why America got ahead because you know, they were very well suited for the industrial revolution because they drink a lot, they repress their feelings. Yes. So that's a group of people you can force to build bridges and then they drink it down, my life is shit, but they can handle it. And now we're into the computers, and that's why there's autism's on the rise because yeah. humans are adapting wow. to this new era. So yeah. Sam wow. is a super person. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's very interesting. Yeah, they, oh. people say, "Oh, it's a problem." There's so many artistic kids. It's like, yeah, they're gonna win. Yeah, yes. they're gonna be able to understand computers. Computers are gonna understand them, and we're gonna be sitting. And me and Strawn are gonna be like, "Where's the passion?" And they're, yeah, they're looking at you like, "What is passion?" Michael Myers. <laughs> yeah, defined passion. <laughs> There are three yes. definitions yeah. for compassion yeah. or passion. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like they look at it like it's a tailbone or appendix. Like, yeah. what do you mean Whoa. passion? Yeah. But I would also rather just be then the novelty for those people. Watch this human possesses yeah. <laughs> desire, passion. Like, I'd rather be like the thing they watch. That's true. And connect with. Because like that's some of the. Sh- I don't know. I mean, I'm, I don't. I'm trying to. I'm trying to phase out shit talking. I'm just like. It makes me fucking feel sick these days. I don't know why. Mm. Why? I don't know. Really? It makes me feel yeah. great. Like I said, but because there, you know why? Because I feel like there's so much. There's That's so true. much to Shit hate. Shit talking like, is ah. like booze. It's great in moderation. In, in yeah. moderation. Yeah. You, yeah. you do too much, yeah. you feel shitty. Yeah. But if, if you do the right amount, you're like, that's a nice buzz. Yeah, yeah, you're and right. Sometimes yeah. Yeah. And sometimes it's necessary. And sometimes you're like, I need to fucking shit talk. Yeah. And much like booze, yeah. it brings people together. Yeah. 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 You're awkward in a group and you're like, much hey, you guys hate this guy? Yeah. They're like, oh, I hate yeah. that yeah. Fucking worse. And we're all connected. And you know much what's like bringing booze people together right now? No. Hate of the Jews. <laughs> Huge. <laughs> Hopefully not in this <laughs> room. <laughs> no, on X, on the world uh, yeah. where the truth reigns. I know. They're translating speeches in English. I mean, I never thought I'd live. Yeah, sometimes I hit that translate button. I'm like, wish I didn't press that one. <laughs> that, was, that was unfortunate. Dude, I never oh, thought yeah. I'd live to see the day where we didn't all agree that, that Hitler was a bad guy. I know. Or 9 11 was that bad. Yeah. Like, oh, how, how about Osama? People, there was a TikTok thing of, of uh, Osama. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. If you see those squiggly lines, don't hit translate. Yeah. It's going to be it's gonna yeah. be a picture of Sam's face with a bullet hole in the forehead. I think we've done everything now, so kids are like, well, let's see. Let's actually see the other perspective. Yeah. Well, What haven't we done? We haven't we haven't yeah. liked Hitler yet. Yes. Let's see some of the good points. Yeah, being a contrarian isn't always good. Yeah. 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 In the 50s, you're like, I'll never cut my dick off. Yeah. And now, here we are. <laughs> Yeah, you know, things, yeah. things come around. Well, but yeah, people are just protected and padded and lived in a, you know, in a bubble all these years. It's like, what's pain? Yeah. What's yeah. actual? That's why when when you ever hear, when you see all these fucks talking about civil war, you're like, you know what would happen if a civil war broke up? Uh, 90% of you would chicken the fuck out. And, of course. And of course. Oh, just because you own a shitload of guns doesn't mean you would ever have the gall to actually use one. Well, that's why bomb shelter you know I mean? people, at least they're honest. Like, I'm going down exactly. to the ground. I got eight cans of beans. I'm going like to be there for a while. A Civil War would definitely look like a Revenge of the Nerds movie, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> like, nerds and black. No way, no yeah. way, because the nerds are winning the end of that movie. <laughs> oh, good point. Yeah. Well, they got yeah. the computers. Yeah. But it's, it's just, yeah. Like, Who are you going with if a Civil War happens? Ooh, I I'm like g- the... I'm- Sorry. Oh, I mean, uh, I'm I'll going with, a, I'm going with the losing side. I'll yeah. be a New Yorker. I know. You're a principal guy. He's He's got strong principles. Uh-huh. So you're going to die. Yeah. <laughs> You'll be on the losing team. Well, I don't. I, I disagree. Get them. I don't. I don't think. Uh, like, I grew up with these fucks. They're not going to conquer shit. No. There's going to be 19 of them that set off to do shit, and then the rest are going to be like, wait, what am I doing right now? I'm going with the wiry, yeah. scrappy libertarians. Yo, good oh, yeah. oh, they Gotta, gotta go west. Gotta yeah, go west. Yeah. yeah. Dude, yeah. Dave Smith is my president. Nah. <laughs> I am on board with that. Uh, <laughs> I want to see a presidential debate on the Legion of Skanks. We're getting close. <laughs> I know, I mean, right? Yeah. Uh, Robert Kennedy Jr. is on Tiger Belly. <laughs> I mean, we're getting close, <laughs> dude. I know. Pretty soon, like, uh, it's it's presidential candidate in the same room as Bobby Lee. Well, J.D. Vance was on 
stump down. Yeah. <laughs> was he? No, 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 no. But, that's, but the fact that you just, <laughs> yeah, no, Andrew Yang was on this. I yeah, know. It's getting this. weird, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's getting weird. Yeah. Like, I, I don't, I, I don't know. I love Bobby Lee. I, I love everyone. I don't want to live in a world where my president knows who Bobby Lee is. Yeah. I know. He's a Gillis' pod. Dude, he's, he's on crazy. the wall in fucking Phoenix with his ass out on the wall in a comedy club. Bobby Kennedy? Bobby Lee? No, not oh. Bobby Kennedy. <laughs> oh, oh, RFK. Yeah. I know I'm talking about Bobby Lee. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bobby yeah, yeah, Lee yeah, yeah. is fucking, you know, his headshot is him like his ass out. And he's sitting there <laughs> talking to a presidential candidate. Yeah, yeah. No. The world has gotten a little too blurred line. Yeah, I completely yeah, agree. Yeah, 100, Especially with comedy's yeah. gotten so big. It's yeah, like... and blacks and whites hanging out. The whole thing's got to go back. <laughs> <laughs> what, we no. need to get some borders yeah. back. Yes, dogs and cats, mass hysteria. <laughs> Ghostbusters. Um, Bill Murray. Yeah, no, you're, you're not wrong. Well, I, I think Robert Kennedy has a tough time getting on stuff, so he's like, oh, this pod has 5 million views. Right. I'll do it. it right. uh, exposure's exposure. Right, and then well, Bobby I mean, comes on with painted nails and, <laughs> yeah. and childhood I, drama. I, like, yeah. Dr. Drew uh, was like said once, he's like, comedians are going to have to save us. I'm like, no, we're not. Yeah. I don't want to save anybody. No one's got, no. John Stewart <laughs> fucked it up for all of uh, yeah, John, because John Stewart was so good at so it, so smart, and then, yeah, and then everyone's like, "I'm going to do it, my version of the Daily Show," and you're like, "Don't, yeah. right? The also, fuck are you doing? Like, you know what most comedians are going to do? Play to their base. Yeah, that's all. Sure, they're going to play to their base yeah. and get fucking get tickets sold. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. No People, one's going, no one's trying to save anyone. You got like comedians, like we're we're insecure people. And that's the only reason we're able to do this. Zelensky was yeah. a comic. But, yeah, that's right. I mean, right. Yeah, okay. We're, so we're, that, yeah, yeah. We're, well, one guy. We're so getting we're two getting of the par- fucking five hundred thousand. It's getting to be yeah. a parody world. It's getting very interesting. It's really yeah, it's really weird. Vivex on Shay Shay. Yeah, you know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm really? gonna no, I'm all. joking. Oh, but it, it could no, happen. Yeah, I believe it. It could totally happen. <laughs> I, I just want to say that sentence. Yeah, I was on Fox once with Vivek, and I was going, what am I doing here? Wow. Oh, dude, why am I here? Oh, I made. I remember I went on Red Eye back in the day. Tom Shalou now? With, yeah. with, uh, I went on a Red Eye, and the other guest was Ambassador John Bolton, <laughs> and I made a joke about him getting like mustache rides from interns, and he was like, oh, I was like, this should not be happening. <laughs> None of this should be happening. How great was John Stewart's comeback? That was sort of like a Rambo, comedy Rambo, where they went, John, we need you. We're losing a fox, and they like he's like it's not my world anymore. (laughs) I I take care of orphan goats in New Jersey, and they're like, John, we need ya. (laughs) And he's like, came back, and he's like, reading Huffington Post, getting strong now. (laughs) (laughs) Like left wing comedy Rambo. Remember when he came on with Tucker Carlson? This is 15 years ago now, or whatever. Pull that clip up when he was on with Tucker Carlson. Tucker Carlson's like, I thought you were gonna be funny. He's like, I'm not a dancing monkey. I remember being a young comic, like, oh shit. Incredible. Yeah. Let's try this. Oh, when he one. talked about his bow oh, tie. new batch? Yes. This is theater. You wear a bow tie every day? Yeah. yeah. And he goes, I'm on after puppets. Yeah. So which one is this? Uh, is this is the 94 uh, proof. Wait, I thought we already did that. I know. I, I feel no, we like did the 90. Did oh, okay. 94. No, this, this, see, this is the one we did. <laughs> That show really aged him like the presidency, yeah. though. I mean, totally. John Stewart. One of one of the favorite things uh, when I watched his Apple show yeah, once, dude. he said uh, he said very something very funny. He goes, "I uh, hi everyone, I am whatever's left of John Stewart." Huh. Oh, that was, that's <laughs> really good. funny. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, because yeah. he does look fucking weathered. He does. Yeah. He's got all white hair. I did love when he he still works with Chappelle, which is kind of wild. Open for him? Yeah, they still perform ah, yeah. everywhere. Look wow, at, Tucker's so young. He's so young, dude. pre Zen Tucker. What do you think of the Bill O'Reilly Fiber story? <laughs> no. I'm sorry? I don't. I'm here to, to confront you because we need help Ooh, that's pretty from good. the media, and they're Very good. hurting us. I made a special effort to come on the show today because I have mentioned uh, this show as being uh, uh, bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's not so much that it's bad as it's hurting America. <laughs> So I, I wanted to but come here today let me, and say, wait, wait, no, I just, let me, here, here, here's just one, what I wanted to tell you guys. Yeah. Stop. <laughs> stop, 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 stop hurting America. Okay. I watch your show every day and it kills me. I can tell you a lot. It's it. so, oh, it's so painful to watch. Your are partisan, Damn. Uh, yeah. what do you call it, uh, hacks. Oh! oh! You have a responsibility to the public discourse. And you, you fail need to get a job miserably. I think you're a good comedian. I think your lectures are boring. You you're on CNN. Say. My, the show that leads into me is puppets there making crank is. phone calls. <laughs> what is wrong with you? It's someone who watches your show and cannot take it anymore. Ooh. I just can't. You need to get a job miserably. I was Tucker. I you need to go to one. 
I would have just said the opposite of love is is not hate; it's apathy. <laughs> like John, you're, I know you're a fan. Oh yeah. yeah. My mother loved Crossfire, by the way. Oh really? Oh uh, yeah. My mom was I mean, diddling to Stewart back then. She was. Huh? Oh yeah. Oh, all of them. Huge moms Jewish were. guy. Remember when he was in smart. Big Daddy? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> with, he was the brother. Adam Sandler. No, he was the best friend roommate. Oh right. And yeah. Death to Smoochie. Death to yeah. Smoochie. Yeah. He had a hell Dude, of a run. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, there's, a, there's an alternate reality where Craig Kilborn still hosted The Daily Show. Oh, that was a real big fifth Beatle mistake. <laughs> <laughs> but would it have become, who knows, you know, yeah, like, right. he, Kilborn was great, but it was just a different show. I think he would have had like a lull during when the uh, Democrats were popular in comedy, but it, Kilborn would have been killing right now with the Republicans big in comedy. It was. Because oh, he's just got that kind of arrogant kind of Smart straight me. white male kind of yeah. snarky thing. And I That's think he true. would be crushing right now. That's a good yeah. point. Also, Crazy Tugger was on CNN. Yeah. Uh, what a that, world. Things yeah. were so quaint back then. Now, now he, he needs to go on every single cable news show and say the exact same thing. You're killing America. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Yes. Because yeah. it's every fucking show now. It so, really is. I'll put it on sometimes in the background. I'll, I'll, I'll throw I'll mix it around, but I'm like, God, every one of these is yeah. fucking poison. Totally. Yeah. And the, yeah. the, the lies. Viewers, Biden's viewers, fine. viewers, viewers, viewers. Yeah, that's all they want. They yeah, just, people, like, people do have forgotten about real life. They just, it's all like... Their digital presence has become the predominant thing yep. yeah. by which they view themselves. And now we're just living in a world where people either feel famous or they feel shameful. Ooh. You're either, it's either fame or shame. Well, and that's where we're at. Yeah. Yeah. And people are losing Great their point. fucking minds, dude. Yeah. Yes. They're going like, if they're not, if their social media presence isn't big, they just feel shame. Which yeah. is why the yeah. autism is going to win. Like you yes. said, they got blinders on. They're not worried about twerking no. their ass it's or getting more followers. Great time for psychopaths and autistic. Well, there's people out there whose social media feeds are more interesting than their lives. 100%. And that's fucking insane to me. Like, yeah. when you see people on the street, like, you walk around New York on a Friday night and you just see, like, reams of people in the East Village, West Village, just like... Just this. And they're just living the... It's crazy. It's like, what are you doing right now? That's not life. That's not your real life right now. It's nothing. You don't me. own that car. Dude, I, I almost yeah. got hit you know by I mean? a guy like, the other day. Right. Yeah. He, was, he was riding a bike while filming himself oh, doing a vlog. That. He almost hit me, and I, I got out of the way. I was like, you fucking idiot. I'm like, I hope that was in his vlog, whatever. He, <laughs> oh, yeah. he just snapping at him. <laughs> but I was like, God, are you fucking But the funny thing is, he dude. almost hit you, and you go, fuck you, and he's like, content. Yeah, That's yeah, good. Exactly. I got some stuff. Conflict. You know, and then the someone thing? recognizes you, and <laughs> yeah. it's like, oh, almost got hit by Sam Talent yeah. or Sam Talent. <laughs> <laughs> oh that would be the comment, though. <laughs> that would. Be oh my God, good. Sam Talent almost tackled me on the street. <laughs> Sam Talent lost a lot of weight. Yeah. I think Sean great. Donnelly made a great joke. <laughs> <laughs> and, <you> know, <laughs> Woo, good one, Sam J. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate it, Mark Marin. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> you call him Narc Marin? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mark. Oh, Mark, man. I thought was... You know what content I'm really conflicted about is um, the um, the uh, um, the pedophile videos. The um, I don't even know what you're talking about. Yeah. Whoa, uh, Kelly? Jeez. Stuff I watch on the dark web. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, I'm not on the fence land. about pedo videos. Yeah, pretty much, oh, yeah. I don't know about you guys. Yeah, yeah. I'm not not a fan. Because <laughs> you knew it was going to gradually get to that, right? It used to be that they would just... So it's vigilante, like, pedophile hunters. Oh. Yeah. Okay. And they're all over the internet, these videos. They yep. picked and up the used, torch where your boy left off. Yeah, yeah, it used to be like they would find them and go, like, you're a pedophile, let's call your wife. Now they just hit them. Whoa, Yeah, really? now they're just beating them up. Oh. And it's gotten to the point where they just beat them up in like the middle of a target. Oh, so they'll shit. trick them. To, they'll they'll trick them. They'll catfish them to come to a target, and then they'll just beat them. Someone just got what? arrested. Yeah. On, so was someone on, look up the story, Salakuse. They were on a flight, and they saw someone looking at pedo like no underage and the guy got arrested on the flight virgin air well yeah <laughs> <laughs> wow is Man, that right you yeah. was looking at a different kind of video you could have pulled up air tran <laughs> <laughs> but that i think i think that transition is the uh, <laughs> He, oh, they show up and pull him off? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Nobody's on that flight. Damn. Well, I think they walked off already. Hello, sir. Um, could I have your passport? This guy's already reclining. Uh-oh. Oh, this is before It's all video recorded on PC Williams. Yes. Please Oof. listen to this. Yeah. We have been given information by Surrey Police that you are currently shown as wanted, yeah, now, wanted I, I for in connection with a rape of a... Uh, he wasn't just watching something. Okay. No, this is a different That's story. Okay. 
I love I love the way he said for what? Yeah, right. what could it be? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Which one? <laughs> Rape? Fuck. Damn, crikey! Yeah, what, there's, <laughs> what, there's another one, Sal. There was a guy. I'm not to look this up without getting on a list. Yeah. No, uh, guy, uh, watching pedo it, porn on a no, plane. No, guy gets arrested okay. for looking at underage pictures <laughs> on a plane. This just look. Look up pedophilia. <laughs> In fact, go to underagegirls.org. <laughs> <laughs> look up. Hor- just look up horny twelve-year-old. There should be under that. <laughs> there you go. I don't know. Really. No. Looking up what? I don't want to type in that word. Arrest. Right, Arrest. Right, right. Plain. Pedo. Uh, right. Underage. Kitty porn. Underage. underage. There, there you go. go. Yeah. Flight yeah. attendant arrest. Or just go. Minors on airplane. Pedophile oh. on plane for podcast banter only. <laughs> 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 it might be like a news story. It might not be a video. The news story is uh, American Airlines flight attendant accused of recording minors in the bathroom. I'm getting a lot of that. Oh, whoa. whoa. Yeesh. Whoa. Yeesh. How do you pull that off? Yeah, that's yeah. How do you, that's rig a camera happen? level. Yeah, how do you how do you? Yeah. Uh, that's like right. an SVU episode. That's yeah. fucking. All right, we got it here. Dartmouth. Oh, this is it. Uh-oh, yeah. Allow. That's your list. Yeah. It says a Dartmouth man faces multiple charges. He was allegedly watching child on a plane, sending text messages, alleg- allegedly attempting to set up sexual encounters with you know who on a plane heading to Logan International Airport to Boston. Mm. That's huh. the new Sam Jackson movie, Pedos on a Plane. <laughs> <laughs> we got to get. <laughs> yeah. uh, oh, man. Ooh, baby. Or Sam Jackson. G- Wait, is there a Sam? No. Oh, I'm thinking of. Um, who the fuck am I thinking of? Never mind. Strike that from snakes the record. Snakes on a Plane? That's what I was doing. No, not Snakes on a Plane. There's another Sam Jackson movie. Fuck. Broke Black Snake Moan? No. Ooh. No. Wait, with uh, Christina Ricci tied to the radiator? Yes. Oh, I jerked it to that. That's I the one I have fucked. that right in the row. Of I know. Dude. I remember everything I've ever jerked right. off to. That's the one. Oh. I was thinking of. <laughs> the plain one was. Hot. Yes, this one. This was the one I was thinking of. Yeah. Yeah, that was a weird sexualized yeah. kind of a turned Sam movie. Jackson into a good movie. Fuck. Eh, fuck machine. It's all right. It's it a looks little, weird as hell. It's weird. I just saw Long Legs. Uh, is that good? Theater. The scary as fuck? It's a little creepy, but I didn't think it was great. That's what I heard. That's what I... Oh, man, my girl was pushing me to see it. Yeah, you're all right. Nick Cage is wacky and weird. He's really gone full tilt in this one. I mean, I, dude, I love what he's... I love his path. Yeah. Of just being like, win the Oscar, then do the shitty... What are the royal... What was it? The ro- Not the royal tenor, but dude, I'm fucked up. Come on. <laughs> Two price, miniature sips. It's ninety four fucking. There's no way I buy your fucked up off that little alcohol. Yeah. It's is my third one. I've been to JFL with you, and I remember. <laughs> no. I remember when you ordered a wine bottle to take back to the room. <laughs> wow, that is so, that was the thing I walked. How was that the, the classiest and trashiest shit I've ever heard? Yeah, what are you, uh, it's the shouts, baby. Come on, You're, wow. We were all at Mark's wedding. Anything like that? Gerard Depardieu over here. <laughs> Let up. Yeah, give me a bottle of wine. I picture you shirtless painting with a glass. <laughs> I was because we were there. That was the year we did the split. We were there the week before everyone got there, and then there the week everyone did get there. I think this was the year Mark and I were also there. Yeah, because I mean, we got lit up one night. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, R.I.P. J.F.L. Yeah. yeah, it took it out back and just fucking yeah. old yellered it. No, it took Netflix took it out back. Yeah, you know, yeah. 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 is that what yeah. took its place? Netflix. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Netflix. Took I've heard a lot some. Of I've heard back. some people say Moon yeah. Tower. Yeah. It wants to take its place, but yeah. I don't think it's going to happen. Do you think something will eventually, because part of being a comedian is finding what the next thing is. Is it Netflix? Is it Apple TV? Is it Hulu? Is it live? Uh, I think it's live, to be honest with you. Yeah. I think it's live. I, I, would I love made that. that prediction a while ago. It's just, yeah. it's live. Like, but you that's why sh- Kill Tony is just getting oh. so massive because it, the screen. So we're going back to live. We're going back to live. But it has to be I on so. YouTube to be selling yes, tickets. But, it, but it's a it's a filmed live thing. And yeah. people want to get in and they want to be there. Because think about it. Being on TV or a screen used to be the unique thing. Right? Yeah. So yeah. hard. And you're like, oh, I'm watching someone on the screen. Yeah. Now it's like the easiest way to see someone is on a screen. Mm. The more unique thing is to, to go out. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's the unique experience. Wow. I think, I think there's yeah. truth to so that. So it's like live podcast, live stand. That's why live stand-up is huge. Huge. It's live. It's live. It's live. Whoa. Yeah. But it's also so we're gonna go I, back to theater, sh- like uh, like plays and shit, vaudeville. Yeah, and I'm, I'm with you on this. I also just hope it's like a certain, like it's all it's all types of live because I've had recently 
I've had this fucking string of people being like, man, I love that. Why didn't you talk to us, though? Yeah. I'm like, because I don't care. Yeah. Yeah. What, I don't. I'm a you, performer. What, let's talk. What, what, what was, like, I had one guy break down everything he would have said to me. Oh. I was like, you have cats. That's your, that's your take. Do you yeah. think I could have run with that? Mm -hmm. Also, you know? our whole thing is that we're socially awkward. This yeah. is the only thing we can pull off is yeah. that you can't talk, we can. You'll enjoy it if you listen, and then we leave. Yeah. Exactly. It's a beautiful thing for us. Like, I guarantee what I have to say is fucking good. Yeah, we've you tested know what I mean? it. We've but, like, also... It. I like to do an hour, yeah. and then, like, I'm like, all right, you can fucking heckle me at the end. Once I get, like, That's at least an hour, like... Oh, don't say that. I don't care. If it's the end of the show, I don't give a shit once I get my new jokes all out. Yeah. No. Because then I'm like, maybe I'll find a new joke there, yeah. too. You know? I'm not a fan of that. I like yeah. I like writing. And that's a, yeah. that's what I like yeah. watching. Yeah. When I watch other comedians, maybe. I don't like watching a comic talk to the crowd for 40 I, minutes. I like hearing no. your ideas and shit. Yeah, you, you just don't build an yeah. act without doing at least an hour every day. Yeah. Sure, hour. sure. I'm so conflicted about that because like now it's be, it's getting into the culture where people go, that's what a live show is. I've experienced it where they just start shouting. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. And, and I'm going like, all right, let's get a clip. But also I'm going like, it's kind of like you're going like, oh, I know this isn't good. Yeah. I know, it's it, like, I know it's not good. And but it is good, stop. but it's not good, but it's good. Right. But it's not good. I know. I and mean, I have women standing on. Uh, I mean, it's oh. just like, it's also, gotten free for well, all. They can't know. wait to yell something. But I also, I also feel audience. there's like a, there's like, <laughs> there's an audience mentality. I it's can't like, wait to get, get them <laughs> but, it, earrings but don't you think like an audience is like, it's like an organism. Like they're all, there's like a hive mind that sure, happens. Sure, sure. So a lot of the time the laugh just comes from a release of tension when you realize you're not, the comedian is not being a total piece of shit to the fucking person they're talking to mm. i feel like you see like someone be like oh what do you do and the entire audience feels that exact moment of like holy shit this could be me at any moment right and then that person says i'm a dentist and the comedian says oh well uh how many how, good thing you didn't kill yourself or whatever fucking yeah dentist related thing and then everyone's like ha ah, that's so funny yeah but it's not mean and it could be me at any but hey when it gets to me i hope they roast me right it's like <laughs> roast you how i know nothing about you right. you gotta go physical appearance yeah, yeah. and then i'm just yeah. talking about how you look and yeah. then that's fucking boring it's yeah. like i know but they're included yeah. and there's that tension you cannot beat the tension uh -huh. of crowd work you can yeah. build up tension with a bit but sure, it'll sure, never sure, match sure. that crowd work tension yeah what about you guys want improv? I took a class. Yeah, zap Zos. I mean, we're basically this. This <laughs> Dude, is the new improv. If the four of us, yeah. yeah. But if we said if you know? we were doing an improv yeah. show, we would have a blast. First of all, we would have a fucking blast, and I think people would really love it. If like comedians are going, we're doing an improv show where we're like acting and improv. Yeah. Is there anything funner? Than in like an imp doing improv. Anything. No. <laughs> but I took I mean, a, you want a list? <laughs> no, I, Pickleball? No. <laughs> no, I know what you mean though. Like the riff, riffing is fun. It's but riffing's it's, great. I mean, I don't mind it. Too. Riffing's like, different than crowd work. Yeah. 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 I'm, I'm talking about in a scene. Like yeah. Sean's driving. <laughs> Sam. I'm not, I, yeah. The bus. Uh, yeah. I hope he's not driving after this shit. God, I've had three. Call it Giannis and the Sean Donnellys. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no. Giannis is doing all the characters. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've seen improv show. I went to one in Chicago. Oh, yeah, it blew my oh, fucking yeah. mind how when good it was. Great, it's great. It was IO. Is that it? OI? Improv Olympic. Yeah. IO. Yeah. Incredible. Yeah, and then I've great, seen a million bad ones where yeah. you're like, I'd rather have a gun in my mouth. Yeah, this when it's so good, bad. it's incredible. Yeah. Dude, yeah. years ago, I did like the, uh, the Ask Cat thing at uh, UCB. I was like the, mono the guy who did the monologues. Yeah. And the shit they were doing was fucking fantastic. But they were all like... 15 year veterans yeah and all you know it, it, i love that shit when it's great it. yeah but i mean riffing though i do love riffing and i like watching riffing but again different than crowd work yeah where someone just yes. says something and you go like rory scoville yeah i mean watch him riff for fucking 40 minutes you're like yeah. that is not crap that's him just oh, yeah. taking a moment and letting his mind run yeah. i love yeah. that i love that shit i love doing that but that's different. Than I think there's people who are good at crowd work. It's just I would. Of course, rather, I would of rather. I would rather. Oh, yeah. bit. I would I'm, rather. I'm with you. Too. Ian like, Bag, unbelievable. Yeah. Jay, Big Jay, Big Jay, Jay is fucking great. awesome. Great. Uh, yeah, I mean, like, yeah, there are people. Todd Barry. Todd. People are into it, and it's great, and it's fun. Shoes. Yeah. But you if guys I, are great. I mean, everyone is. You three, I've seen do amazing crowd work. But if I paid, if I paid to go see a show, and the person started yes. asking me what I do sure. for a living, forget about it. Holy shit! This is the best one. Really? Hundred the hundred proof. Oh, let me try it. I didn't that's, like this one as much. Hold on. Wow, that's fucking good. Let me try the hundred proof. Yeah. <gasps> oh, now I'm fucked up. Yeah. <coughs> Thank you, buddy. Oh, that one's got a kick. I feel like the other ones are smooth. Yeah, hundred proof. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, it's got a kick, Mark. <laughs> that's <laughs> fucking good. Wait, you don't like that? 
I think it's 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 the other one was smoother. I I like the middle one. So I might be alone. Yeah, that's my least favorite. To be Wait, wow. you, yeah. we've talked about this bar for Giannis. Oh, talk about riffing. Some of the shit you did just throw away that at those shows. Time. That was you, a Dude, you one time broke that. I, I've told you this before. You broke down <laughs> every MLB team's hat. P- hat and the probability of it being stolen by which race in fucking Brooklyn. Yes. It was, it was 30 straight jokes you said, off the top of your head, and I you almost- said the funniest thing what? about Bar 4. What? Because I would go up there and I'd do like 40 minutes, and he would yeah. go like, did you write any of that down? And I was like, no. He's like, did you record it? No. And Sean goes, it's just like you're performing to your teddy bears. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like all Wasted. <laughs> yeah. It was like gone. It yeah. Was gone. That is but that, so How great fun. was that, that you had to be there? Yeah. 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 Get to, awesome. I mean, it's dude, great, but the fact that you're not recording, you're not, you having these yeah, brilliant yeah. riffs, you can't turn it into a bit or anything. That's so, it, it is wasteful. Yeah, it is. That was the fun. first but, Marika. But it was, oh. uh, yeah, I would riff it. That there. Marika, the first Marika. Dude, there. The comics that came through there, oh, that's crazy. crazy. And then, like, he was there all the time, all the time. And like, just you look at them now and Nate, and you're going like, fuck, that was a cool thing. Ali to Wong, watch. Ali Wong, and. And uh, Hannibal and Che and Soder and you, you never came. I never you. did it. Yeah. It was a bit of a haul. Really? That was a haul because it was yeah. Park Slope, but it was this neighborhood bar, and it was it was that such was an awesome. in the moment thing. And once you left, it was all gone. And then we get hammered every it night. Was fi- fights and uh, yeah. one, guy, one Mexican guy threatened to blow the place up once. It was a real <laughs> jail rules kind of show. I remember yeah. real fun. There was one. There was no, I regret never doing it. I, yeah. I, I think I was in that mindset of like always. In Manhattan shows, so I could do like as many as I could. Yeah, well, sense. you're from Manhattan. Right? I yeah, know. Sure. this yeah. is a New York thing that New Yorkers know. Guys from Manhattan, like the thought of going to Brooklyn when they, they grow up is like, I'm not going to Brooklyn. Yeah, yeah. Like, you're from Bro- like Brooklyn. But for me, it was more like a even 20 block radius. I'm lazy. Yeah. Like it, it's more, <laughs> you know. Uh, but for me, well, I wasn't in clubs, so I was like, maybe I'll get on. Yeah. It was just any idea of getting on was a lure. I live in. I'm a Brooklyn guy, so I was like, oh, fucking staying in Brooklyn, yeah. even yeah. though traveling from Bushwick to Park Slope <laughs> is going basically to traveling. Yeah. Like, yeah, but still, like, but you got to watch some people really stretch their legs and, and try shit. Sean would, yeah, fucking, it's wait, so creative. It was just like it was. Cr- Sean is one of my favorite. Oh, thank you. Uh, like, well, you have one of my, this bit I love about. Uh, I forgot exactly how it goes, but the gist of it is like, fuck. Weekend drinkers. Oh, no, oh, yeah. I'm still working on that one. <laughs> John is yeah. like a victim of his own creativity. Yes. Uh, like, that's yes. what I always, I said it to, it's like you watch him do one and you're like, oh, you're going to keep crafting that. And, oh, yeah. And, and, and then you watch him again and you're like, it's a whole new fucking act. Oh, yeah. dude. And so you are you're mar- you marvel at that and you go, wow, he's good. But you're like, yeah, you should fucking just. Well, that, that hold bit. Hold it a little. Fucking hold that I'm shit. Trying. Yeah. I'm, I'm working that, on it. That bit. <laughs> I'm working on it, bro. It's like you get Still bored. Still doing it. But it's yeah, so real. Yeah. Like, <laughs> but I, re- I, relate to that, I relate to that bit so much of like weekday drinking is so much fucking more fun. Yeah. <laughs> it's oh, so it's much more, so much more fun. It's, such a, it's like the professional drinking days. But then also yeah. you had that bit about the on one of your albums where you uh, you get thrown out of the strip club for Crying, yeah, no. ah! scuttlebutt. <laughs> That's a fucking scuttlebutt. classic. Which is the you, name of the album? You can actually buy. There's a t-shirt company called Dirty Coast, New Orleans. You know Dirty Coast. Oh yeah, they did a Sean Patton scuttlebutt shirt. Wow. So you can dirtycoast.com. You can get the the scuttlebutt shirt. But uh, your bit about medieval drunk. Oh, thank you. That yeah, was yeah, amazing. Yeah. And we'd go to Cabin every Thursday. That was your room. Yeah, that was and another great room. You would close it and you would do, I don't know, six hours at the end of the night. Sometimes. And, and it was magical. That was yeah. a magical Thanks. Room. I mean, those the, the that well, that's what's missing from comedy now are those great bar shows, man. I know. Like clubs fun. are great, don't get me wrong, but the bar shows are where like a lot the, of experimentation. A lot of experimentation. Why, why did they go away? Dude? That's the question. everybody got because everybody got because the clubs opened the floodgates. Uh, everybody that's, now that must be the it. idea of like getting paid for spots getting club spots and I don't know that it is called. better well it filling is better a room is a bitch yeah. you know running a, it's, running a bar show you gotta fill that room you gotta promote you gotta get comics in you gotta tell comics no it's a lot older. of work I mean we, we moved you know we, 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 it, it was our generation and then we moved on like we're all but it's good for the new generation that is. they're getting paid they should yeah. be getting paid yeah. you know like yeah. they have so many shows at the cellar now and, and, and the New York comedy clubs and all those rooms the stand should be like paid, these yeah. people should be getting paid should be getting paid but also there should be those shows the week where it's like it's not about the money yeah Yes. It's about going and like pushing the boundaries because sometimes in clubs yeah. we can get away with that. Yeah. But there's a lot of times where it's like, but then sometimes I'm like, no, I need a bar show to go like let this idea breathe a yeah, little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you, you, we've all had that where you yeah. go to the club, you show up, it's a fucking Sunday night set, it's a 10:35 spot, so you're like, great, I got cool, and you show up and oh shit, fucking Sarah Silverman just dropped in or 
Louie or someone else, or, you know, fucking Chris Rock, someone's dropped in, and that means then the three comics after them are all going to do their A game. Yeah. Because they're now following a legend, and now all of a sudden you're like, well, shit, I'm go- I can't go up with new stuff. I know. After four people just drew the swords. Yeah. That's how your show was sometimes. But then sometimes, Dude, sometimes yeah. your show that had all those drop-ins, you know? Yeah. That's but, true. Yeah. But, but we, you know, uh, I don't know. I like that the crowds were hipper. What like, the fuck? Is that a Casio? Uh, Timex, Jesus Timex, Christ. Christ. but I like how yes, yeah. I like how uh, hip the crowds were, at Kevin. Like they really, like yeah, the joke didn't work. You're like, fuck, maybe that was like unoriginal or something. Yeah, like, and then sometimes you'll go to a club and it's a, like you're bombing. You're like, what is this? All fucking Norwegians or yeah. something? You know, yeah, like there was yeah. something about. Yeah. I think it's. Too I'm playing th- Norway, by the way. I should be saying that. <laughs> I'm playing there in September. You know what's but, right. hilarious? They're going to stare at you the whole time, and then when you get off stage, standing ovation. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it's gonna, yes. Yeah, seriously, they'll just yeah. they'll stare, and then you'll be like, "I guess I'm bombing," and you just finish your set, and then you get off like funniest thing I've ever seen. Yeah, yeah. 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 opposite so of my girlfriend. Really. <laughs> she just stares at me and goes, "What were you thinking?" Yeah, they love cerebral. They yeah. love. They, it's they fun clap there. a lot. It's what, great. What are you great. doing, Bergen? Oslo. Uh, where am I doing? Oslo is fantastic. I did yeah, Oslo. I, think I, I, loved I think I'm doing Oslo. That's a great. Did you go to Bergen now. though? I don't think so. Bergen's like what you think of when you think of Norway, mm. where it's like mountains and smoke and troll and oh. people just eating salmon on the streets. <laughs> it's fucking amazing. It's also the most beautiful city I've ever ever seen. been to. Really, it yeah. rains like most of the year, yeah. but as far it's as so the green. City, it's crazy. Yeah. It's just beautiful. Damn. No homeless, no trash, no graffiti. It's crazy. Over and once there. again, yeah. fuck tons of salmon. Yeah, Cause, love cause salmon. People for, like Norway got salmon. That's like half their industry. Yeah, yeah. It's salmon. It's like that I ate meme. Whale in Bergen. Oh yeah, yeah. And, and reindeer. Well, yeah. I ate pussy. Yeah, <laughs> I ate ass. That was also that was also my girlfriend at the time. <laughs> That's that could be a good meme. You know the meme of the the two hands, the Arnold Schwarzenegger. You know that one, and the black guy it's Carl Weathers. Carl Weathers yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's Norwegians. Jews, salmon. <laughs> that brings you together. Everybody <laughs> loves salmon. Yeah. You know Everybody the guy, uh, Josiah Johnson, does all the NBA tweets? I don't think He's so. fucking great, but he did it for Caitlin uh, Clark and Angel Reese. They had to play in the All-Star game, and he did the, the Schwarzenegger fucking... Yeah. What was He's his always, connection? They... They know they... Oh, one's players. white and one's black. Oh, yeah. that's good. That's yeah, yeah. good. No, he's great. He's his NBA Twitter shit is fucking amazing. Yeah. Last thing I'll say about the bar shows because I think there's more to it than just the clubs opening up. You think there's more? I think there's more. One, we didn't really have the internet back sure, then sure, when we sure. started, so we couldn't. That was a way to promote. Like, hey, look, Giannis killed on Cabin. People start talking about it, and then then they book you on more shit. That and I think a couple bar rooms got a little dictatory. I think a few yeah. bar rooms were like, hey, you can't talk about that here. Whoa, this is a safe space, whatever. And then people were like, all right, happen? fuck this. Did that really happen to you? What? They, they wouldn't let you make certain jokes? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, well, you remember that backyard you did and that lady yelled at you? Oh, my Shit God. Shit like that. That's what I'm but talking about. That was about. also during- That like, was more- pro- That was, that was producers. That was more like COVID, mm. like people sure. losing their mind. Shit. Yeah, I remember- But that was unheard of. For a joke I made, she like grabbed the mic for me and I was like, oh, my God. Uh, yeah. That's one time I wish they were fucking rolling yeah. the cams because that was a crazy moment. Yeah. There was a lot. That, that bubbled up a little bit and uh, there was a show I did. I'm not going to say who, but there was a list of rules on the wall. Yeah. Th- this is on a roof. During COVID. Oh, come on. Just say the name. Fuck them. No, it's, it's not a mean thing. It was uh, Corinne Fisher. Oh, okay. And she was like, one of the rules was no fat jokes. And oh. she's like, well, I've I've put on some weight during COVID, so I want to talk about my body and how much weight I've gained. And they were like, eh. And she's like, but it's my body. Mm. I want to talk about me being fat. What? And then they were like, yeah, it's too much. And she walked. <laughs> and I remember respecting her like, good for you. I'm glad Fuck she walked. Shit. No. That's, that's, really, that's funny, dude. No. There you no, go. Tweet it. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah. <laughs> There's your tour poster right there. I like how you made the Jews yeah. black. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't black. think you spelled Safari. Norwegians properly either. I, oh, I didn't spell salmon or Jews <laughs> right either. It was. Salmon. I think right. everything. Just the last thing I'll say about it, because right? right. the audience is like, "This is sorry." And th- so there's so, this is like this is too inside. Very baseball. inside. But we're having fun with it. But I think everything has its thing, and then it ends. Sure. So I think it was like inevitable to end. And I loved how every room had a personality. Yes. Like you know, it was like you went to Hannibal's room and you got booked. At the oh room, yeah, like, man. Or if you got uh, what was the one at Love UCB Hannibal, where you're like Whiplash. 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 Remember, we're like I got on Whiplash. Yeah. Oh yeah. And you're like I, I, I made it. That yeah. defined that. That would if someone had a good set on Whiplash was yeah. Monday at 11 p.m. Yeah, their week was yeah. If you had a rough one, yeah, fuck with your whole week, oh, dude. Okay. dude that Just that show booked, too. Thought you made it. You were oh, dying. Yeah. You were dying to get in these shows. You have a good set, and then nothing in your life changed. Nothing. Nothing. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. nothing. It was just the feeling of it, though. Except I, except the next like low level bar show you walked into, there'd be two people who were like, 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you might fuck a six. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, the guy who ran that show would not put me on for whatever, like for the longest time, he just wouldn't put me on that. Yeah. Show. He I did though, that. eventually though, right? Yeah, eventually. But by the time I got on, I was like, this show sucks. <laughs> yeah. I think it, I think a lot of those shows got a little snooty too. That's what oh, I'm yeah. saying. Like he's not experimental enough, man. Exactly. He's too jokey, too Yeah, written. he's getting too many laughs. He's too alpha. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It did get a little like that. And then my room was just like, hey, if you want you want to try comedy, he, yeah. might, he might put you up. Well, yours yeah. is more of yeah. a knife fight. <laughs> yeah. yeah it's <laughs> more like a barroom brawl. Yeah. I mean, there was times I would throw a heckler on, like someone would heckle and I go, and I, it's happened a few times, and I go, all right, you do five minutes, and then just watch them eat shit. Oh, yeah. Somebody who wow. started comedy, I'd throw them on, and they'd go on like next to after Norman or something. It was just kind of, it was just. Well, dude, I mean, we've all been doing it roughly the same amount of years. We're hitting like 20 I'm 20, yeah, 20. I'm, twi- I'm in I'm 20. 18, 19. I'm, yeah, I'm 20. Yeah. I'm, yeah. So, like, I Crazy. just think, like, when Crazy. we all, yeah. when we all started, it was like, yeah, you were like an outcast sort of fucking side. You were, you were a weirdo. You were, you were a different type of person that wanted to do this. Yeah, completely. We're in basements. We were just like, yeah, we're just, I, I want to do this because it's the thing I, it's the thing I care about. It's what I love. And I don't give a shit about anything else. And now it's not about that anymore. It, That's it, true. What's happened to comedy is what happened to music in the '90s. What happened to cinema in the '80s, where it just it became now everybody wants in because it's this cool thing, right? And you see it now, where it's like being funny to a lot of people is the seventh, eighth most important thing on the oh, list totally. to being a comedian. Well, Louis, you're said right. It. Everything you just said is right. Yeah. yeah yes. Yeah, you're right. And so it's like now you're watching, like, dude, how many people do y'all meet on the? In, on, I meet this this person a lot. They'll come up to you after a show. They're fucking friendly. They're nice. They start asking you about your friends. You start talking to them. They buy you some drinks. You're hanging out, and then it's coming. You know it's coming. And then about an hour and a half into the hang, they're like, you know, I've kind of always wanted to do this. Oh, every time. Yeah. And you're like, well, what do you do now? And they're like, oh, I'm a fucking chemical engineer. Yeah. Mm. I'm like, well, I think you missed your window. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like this should have hit you years ago. Sorry. I'm not. I'm not saying you should start at any age but like i think some people just <laughs> listen to too many podcasts yeah. madonna too many clips yeah. i tell go, people, oh i can do this yeah people tell me that i listen to them and i go and i speak and i go did you hear everything i just said yeah and yeah. they go yeah i go you're not a comedian <laughs> yeah you weren't in your own head thinking about yourself <laughs> right yeah. it's like right. tell me about your parents and they're like oh, my parents were great and i was like <laughs> yeah this isn't for you but I did a Gotham comedy club for some reason. It was like, will you talk to a bunch of comics or whatever? And I was like, sure. And I had to sit on stage, and it was like 30 people, business suits, housewives, whatever. And they're like, I have two dogs, and then I work a nine to five. So I don't know when I'd actually be able to get on stage, but I want to be a comedian. And how, how quick till I make money? And I'm like, you're out. you know. And then they're like, I have a, a cat at home. It needs medicine, and I can't get out every night, but I want to be a comedian. How do I get an agent? I'm like, you're out. Like, what are yeah. we doing here? You got to oh, give 10 years of your how life. How do I get an agent is also the wrong question to ask out of the gate. But, you know, uh, yeah, I... You could you always. Work. Michael Che used to say to people. I think someone said to him, uh, "I want to do it." He's like, "You can't." And he's like, "And if they still do it, he's like, then you should have been a comic." Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's he would good. just say like, "You don't want this." He would kind of talk them into it. And if they still want to do it, they were meant to do it. It's yeah. like saying, "I'm thinking about being gay." Yeah. No, no, just go blow a guy. Yeah. <laughs> you, know, you, don't, you don't have to think about. You it. like dicks? I don't know. You're not gay. You're not gay. Yeah, you're not gay. There you go. Yeah, like hating your job and your life. Yeah. Is when do I start getting easy. paid to yeah. suck dicks? You know? <laughs> yeah. When do I start? How do I get a dick sucking agent? <laughs> <laughs> you're hired. I'll hire you. Yeah. Yeah. It's funny, right? Because uh, remember how much we wanted to get agents, and now yeah. agents. If you get a podcast that blows, agents want you real bad. No, that's so oh, true. My God. The yeah. tables have turned. So yeah. Oh my! Yeah. Well, it's like women in high school. Yeah. I couldn't get laid to save my life, yeah. and then after you start doing comedy and making some money, they're like, "Hey, yeah. <laughs> what's shaking?" Yep. Their agents are like, "I like podcasts. We, we should put it on our network." Yeah, and they're like trying to get in there. Yes. And, oh. Yeah. I remember when my agent was like, "What are you doing? They don't pay. They don't pay. Get on the Tonight Show." And yeah. now it's completely flipped. What's well, funny too, when you like now you have certain podcast networks that are like, "Oh, they do pilots." For podcasts, you're like, what the fuck does that mean? Uh, what? Yeah. The whole reason this works is because it's unchecked. Yeah. You yeah. Do it. You know what I mean? But like, oh, the notes yeah. are gonna. What do, come what do you in. mean a pilot? Like, they were like, let's give it a whirl, and then we'll see if you can go on our network. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it was yeah. that. It was Starburns. Yeah. But to your yeah. point, yeah. Louis said there was a comedy boom in the '80s. Yeah. It fizzled hard. It hard. crashed. And then the comics were like Attell, Louis, all these David Cross, David Cross, these these, cold, these yeah. cockroaches that stayed in it, even though the apocalypse of comedy had happened. Yeah. And then they became great. Yeah. So he's like, if you still did it, you were probably going to be big. And I think that might happen with us eventually. I have no fear of a comedy bust. 
because those of us who give a shit will still be doing it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Just go back underground where it belongs. Yeah. But like, yeah, it's gonna yeah. hurt to lose some tickets though. Yeah. But it'll be a, a nominal amount. Like if you ha- if you have to go from selling three hundred thousand tickets a year to two hundred and fifty thousand, but it means sure. you're not dealing, you're not having to fucking deal with so many other, ha- you know, just so many. Just shitty fuckers. Out there. We're in the yeah. one area of entertainment that ha- doesn't seem to be suffering right now, which is like, an, it's kind of insane. Well, podcasts, I think people got peak. I think it hit a peak where people were like, mm. there's too many. Yeah. I think that yeah. happened. People yeah. people started overexposing themselves doing three, four different podcasts. And I think the audience was like, I can't listen to you for four hours. <laughs> you hear hours that, Gomez? <laughs> <laughs> no, you're right. I was waiting for the first one. Yeah. Like, <laughs> who's going to get it first? A, a few who's names getting... popped into my head. <laughs> yeah. 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 I think Chris D's had nine. Yeah, this month. Yeah, yeah. No, you're right. I think he, it, Chris, is a podcast. Yeah, <laughs> he's a podcast personified. Yeah, I took a walk him the other day. He's like, oh, this is going up on my channel. I was yeah. like, oh, fuck. I- he's fucking jazz. He's like, me undies. I'm taking me undies off to fuck you. <laughs> There's one thing I do. None of us. Trampstamps.com. <laughs> I think yeah, I think we that's one thing none of us see coming is like no matter how good you are, people sometimes just get sick of you. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're they right. just go, there's too much of you. Like Yes. Just, you know. Or you just gotta keep yeah. evolving. I mean, I know it's hard to say when you're selling when you're or selling. do a big bang and yeah. then disappear for a little bit. Yeah. And like Bird does it great. Yeah. Like yes, boom, 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 yes. and then quiet, so and then boom, 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 and then he comes back, boom, boom, boom. I remember Gillis, oh, sorry, Gillis was, uh, you know, doing everything, he's everywhere, and they asked him to do the Brady Roast, I don't know if I'm supposed to say this, and he was like, I'm good, and they're like, you're turning down the Brady Roast, and he's like, I'm everywhere, yeah. I'm on Hot Ones, I'm on SNL, I'm, right. yeah. you know, I'm yeah, on this, right. I'm on the arenas, like, Got I'm not doing show. it. Yeah, 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 They just get sick of you. Yeah. And then they get to the point where they, like, want to tear you down, because you're too yes. bad, and they enjoy that. So it's like, yeah, yeah band, a lot of bands do that great. Where they kind of put out an album, kind of tour, kind yep. of disappear for yep. a little bit, then come back, and then so people are excited to see your new thing. It's like, oh, when they just go, oh, it's another thing. Mm. You're putting one out every year. They're going like, no matter how good it is, they just like, I'm sick of his voice. It's a I great just, point. I'm sick of him. I but just, then you have to balance that with being irrelevant. So it's kind of right. this dance where you got to find the median. Right. But that, but I also feel like, and this is probably the reason I'll never be as big as like a Burt Kreischer. But I love Burt. I fucking love Burt. But I would love it if the next thing Burt does is comes out, puts his shirt back on, and just sure. starts telling stories. Just evolves. That'd be funny. He puts his shirt on and nobody recognizes him. <laughs> yeah, like, who's this guy? But I'm just saying, oh, like... Where's Bert? <laughs> yeah, like, I, I love the guy. I know I know it's... His money manager's like, but... your bank account says zero. Yeah. I don't know what happened. <laughs> it's not working. But I feel, like, I feel like, yeah, he'd lose some fans, but then he'd gain some more. Yeah. Like it, Yeah, Carlin it be, did that. It would be a balance. It would just be like, what's next? Because, like, you know? <laughs> Bert, Bert like, should do a Carlin. fuck you face. Just light a cigarette. <laughs> Bill Hicks it out. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I love what he does, though, dude. I, I love Bert. I love Bert. Fully loaded the best. I, I love what he does. I love how he exposes other people. He puts yeah, fucking he's great. He, yeah, he's great. It's great. And as a guy, he's just a, he's just awesome dude. Like I, I've I've have nothing but positive experience. Sweet yeah. dude. Oh yeah, we were all on the fucking boat. Yeah, it's just it was totally boat. It was the best. Dude, I, was awesome. I got like yeah. kind of into. I was like, I was having a great time. I was like, you know, I need this. Man. I blew out my Achilles on that fucking boat. Fucking time. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, it was just good to hang and just feel like it was awesome. Fun. It, it was yeah. great. Yeah. And and he's out there at two p.m. doing the the speedo contest. And you're like nine a.m. Nine a.m. I'm I'm hungry. Drink over, until like, 5.30 in the morning. Yeah. The like, funniest yeah. thing I've still maybe seen in comedy, total, yeah. and uh, you know I'm friends with the funniest guys, um, was watching Miss Pat's family oh. watch oh, yes. the Speedo contest. Yes. It was, the, I was, I was dying. I was, yeah. I was laughing so hard it hurt. Is all these white guys with little dicks going out there. And then he had like the, what was he? He was giving money to the littlest dick. Yeah, micro penis. Yeah, so these guys and the Miss Pat's family just watching this black family just go, oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, it was just the funniest. Oh thing. yeah, it was so white people wh- shit. You know they, you know they yeah. went back to their community and were like, "It's all true." <laughs> <laughs> hey, dicks are small. Uh, they can't dance. Yeah, because like, people were going up there and like it looked like they were being burned by a car cigarette lighter. Like, <laughs> I also, I also white, love it's how so embarrassing to be white and was, black people. It we're it all and we're all like, "Can we bring a guest?" And she's like, "I'm bringing my family." Yeah, she brought. Yeah. Don't give a people. fuck. She's like, "I don't care." I'm bringing. Yeah, she made it like a it. North Carolina black cookout. She's awesome. All right, all right, thanks, right, thanks, thanks right, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, all right, cool. Yeah. <laughs> no, I gotta love the guy, dude. If Florida was a person, it would be Bert. Yeah. It's just he's oh, yeah. Florida. He's Tampa all the way. He's just Tampa.
Yeah. And then Sam again. Sam is smooth Manhattan. Yeah, you're a fucking Money handsome. This is a handsome yeah. pick, dude. You're fucking Upper East Side. Meet me at the fancy. Meet me at Chin Chin. Yeah. We're having a nice thing. We're going to know what that is. Jokes. <laughs> you're going to have a nice watch on and like a suit with a button down, but it's open. Yeah. And yeah, you're like, where? You could call Mark. You want to come hang out? He's like, no, I'm doing another room in Brooklyn or whatever. <laughs> My 20th set of the night. Like, That's cool, man. I'll see you. I mean, tomorrow. this is some very like uh, Philip. Marlo, yeah, was going yeah, for yeah, 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 yeah. Going like, for it. Solving the case yeah. Smith and Walensky's yeah. talking to a yeah. hot cougar, yeah. Yeah. half flirting, <laughs> half hearing about her dead son. Yeah. You've developed into just a fucking smooth, yeah, kind of Humphrey Bogart. Yeah, you, you actually like yeah. a Jew who's like good looking. Uh. You know? <laughs> the fuck it. I don't know how to take this. You don't got any of that inbred shit. You're like, <laughs> you got the James Conn. Yeah, thing. you look like your dad's like Irish or something. No, that's are not you full crazy. Jew? <laughs> Fuck, they should make you, you king of the Jews break. just to get it the going. Fuck is this? King of the Jews. Russian. Remember what they did to the last king of the Jews? Who? <laughs> 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 Woody Allen? Crucify him. Oh, oh Jesus! All right, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Woody Allen. I forgot about him. <laughs> I don't claim him. Yeah, that's you. you. Look at you. Oh, oh look at yeah. Elliot Gould. Oh, that's yeah, a dude. punk. Look at the jaw. Yeah. He, wait, was, that, that, he was a cool was that dude. Elliot Gould? Yeah. Oh, is that wait, is that from um The Long Goodnight? Long Goodbye. Long that's goodbye. a good movie. I, fuck yeah, that's a great movie. Great movie. I Looks love like that. if me and Sam fucked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it really does. I've been to that apartment. It actually does. Really? Yeah. In LA. I've been to that apartment. <laughs> I've been there too. That, like, tower. It's just like a shitty tower apartment oh, in Hollywood. Uh, I mean, like, Nice, it's a cool shit. area. Okay. He yeah, wasn't supposed to be killing it in the movie. Yeah, he was also That's true. making. Yeah, he made twenty grand a year in nineteen seventy two. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Can you uh, only have with a cat? It really does look like if Mark and Sam were melded into one person. Somebody uh, AI that That's shit. That's crazy, dude. Elliot. Gould, yeah. You've met Elliot Gould, right? I feel never. Like. No. Oh. We tried to get him on the pod, but he's in his eighties now. I don't no. think he want to do it. Uh, Maria, they were on their salmon. <laughs> <laughs> What's the, the trailer? Like, I'll come fuck. do it for the salmon. <laughs> he just shows up. We're like, holy shit. He you just, you open just, the door, you're holding a bagel. He's like, hey. He comes up dressed like a private eye. Yeah. I knew I'd find you. <laughs> Are you going to have a baby? I think so, yeah. yeah. Wow. You well, think when it comes out, it's not going to cry, it's going to go, hey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Comedy. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. Yeah, yeah. Face action. Very exciting. <laughs> yeah. Anything you want to share with us, Mark? Ah, uh, well, yeah, the lady's pregnant. What? what? Oh, shit. Uh, how'd you know? Wait, really? I fucking got instincts, baby. Oh, Are you, you got instincts. Yeah. Like, yeah. I can yeah. smell the Very crying in the what? estrogen what? on you. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. How the fuck what? do I find this out on air? What? I didn't want to bother what? anybody what? with it. It's wow. Wow. Fuck. It's Congrats, bud. Yeah, hey, congrats. Thanks. Fuck oh, yeah, man. Wow. Yeah. Fuck oh, good yeah. Good times. Wow. Sorry, I had to ruin the moment. What'd you say? Cut that. Um... <laughs> Uh, but yes, yeah, that's, that's fucking hey, amazing. Hey, hey, congrats, yeah. hey yeah. Little, Mazel. Put, no, put a little oh, more in here. Here we go. Put a little more in there. Yeah. Welcome to the club. Yeah, I'm terrible. I'm gonna get tips gonna from you. Great, I'm gonna yeah. need some uh, advice. I know you don't want to, but I'll call. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Amazing news. Well, shit, amazing. I officially <laughs> lost the bet. What, what do you mean? mean from the from the wedding, the oh. the divorce pool. Oh, the divorce pool was big. <laughs> You thought you thought they would be done? It was a year and a half or a, a, before a baby. All right. Baby yeah. So who gets the money? <laughs> the baby. Uh, baby. Yeah. All right. Great. Good fund. College fund. <laughs> yeah. See every see little little. Oh, that's Mark. great, man. Fuck yeah. Mark are y'all gonna are y'all gonna stay in New York then? Yeah, Brooklyn. That's oh, that's right. Fort Green. Oh, yeah, Thank right. God, man. It, it changes you for that. the better in every yeah. way. Come on, yeah. every yeah. way. Really? Yeah. yeah every Brooklyn's way. Yeah. Huh. Every way it does. It so makes you. Uh, it just you you feel more purpose. You you're oh you mean being sensitive. a dad? Yeah. I thought you were talking about living in Brooklyn. No, but you know I yeah I feel <laughs> that too. Bro. Every way, man. Yeah. Yeah. Eighteen years now. Yeah, For the better you think. For the better. What about 100%. Amanda Knox? Huh? Nothing. Uh, <laughs> Casey Anthony. Casey Anthony. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean if you rate, you got to raise them. I mean you can't oh. just have one and then go on the road. Yeah, you can't drown them. Yeah. What do you got now? Uh, two? It's gonna drown I, yeah, them in the I divorce took pool. two full <laughs> months off. I haven't been on the. I took. I consciously no, I mean, took the whole summer off. Two kids, right? Two daughters. Two kids, yeah. Two daughters? Yeah, two daughters. Oh, yeah. Full summer off. I just, I said I'm taking the full summer off, and uh, my daughter's one. I wanted to see her, like, start talking. You know, I taught my daughter how to swim. It's just, it does change your, I, I don't know, everyone's different, but it changes. Sure. It changes everything. It sure, used to course. all be about comedy for me, and now it's like, it. I, I do go like, wow, I, my dream is to just make these kids great and spend a lot of time with them and have the family that I didn't have. So mm. it's like I'm trying to balance that. It's like transitional, but it's good. It's all good. Okay. You know, it's all good. I mean, there's for me personally, there's like some 
dark moments where I'm like, who am I now? But sure. it's all good. Yeah. But what about the... Uh, <laughs> no, it's great. You're not, never going to sleep should've, again. You shouldn't have ended on yeah. that. Yeah. No, 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 it's great. That's his that? own shit. Yeah, that's my own shit. That's my shit. That's my person. But isn't it scary that your parent, everybody's parents are flawed, everybody's parents oh, yeah. put some trauma yeah. imprint on you, and you go, I'm not going to do that, yeah. but yet you'll do something else. Not that's inevitable. like my parents. No way. Yeah. No, it's, we won't be like that. It's, I, think, but I, I think knowing it is key yeah. and just being okay with that. Yeah. And, and being able to recognize it and accept it once you see it in real time. Like, oh, fuck. Here's right. what I've done. Right. Now I've just got to mitigate this. Now I've just got to help them cope with that. But like, I think that's just having that thought already puts you mm. a step ahead of most but people. But we all, you yeah. know, we're all getting older and you, you see some dad in you. You know, when you're like, oh, I didn't even meet. Oh, that was kind of like my dad. Yeah. Oh, geez, I'm turning into my dad. What am I doing? I said the N word, you know, whatever it <laughs> yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. And uh, <laughs> it's inevitable. It's in there. You ever like see pictures of yourself and you're like, Jesus Christ, why am I making my dad's. Yes. Go to face. Yes, exactly. And for the past seven times I've been photographed. Totally. Like, yeah, it's in you. Yeah. It's like yeah. every time my dad walks through Times Square, he goes, one who pays the light bill here. <laughs> you know? And I go, oh, dumb dad joke. And I said it two days ago to my wife. And I was like, oh, jeez. I got to write some news. You got stuff. a restaurant. You're like, yeah. let me get the rubber band sandwich and make it snappy. <laughs> ah, what the fuck am I? <laughs> That's not bad. You'll be looking at nannies and you'll go, you'll see pronouns. You'll be like, she heard no, 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 no. And then you'll go, they, them, trans. That's the one. Yeah. And you're like, I'm turning into my parents. Right, right. <laughs> Mark was raised by a trans woman. That's right. Yeah. No. That's Transvestite. Why. You didn't know. Oh, she was, yeah. It she was, was a vestie. It was yeah. a cross dresser, burlesque lady at night, yeah. and then black oh, the guy nanny. in the day. Yeah. yeah. That's, yeah, just, yeah. that's midnight in the. Garden of Good and Evil. I know. That's part of what it was. God, there was like a famous, in New Orleans, wasn't there like a famous trans scene or whatever? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Still is. Yeah. One of the biggest ones, isn't it? Yeah, big gay area down on the quarter. Yeah. Every That's what I love about that city is everybody's into some fucking, some sca some, some scantily clad some, that city Some debauchery. Interesting. Yeah, I'm about to buy you. Yeah. It's an interesting, weird city. There's a vibe. There's a vibe. I watched a really weird movie from there. It was, uh, it was Tom Waits and fuck. Oh, Ooh. Down by Law? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, that's Jim weird, Jarmusch. That's a weird one. Yeah, yeah. But it's just, it makes the same mistake that every fucking movie or TV show filmed in New Orleans does, where it's like, hey, now we in the French Quarter. Now, fifteen minutes later, we in the swamp. <laughs> Get attacked by big old gators. You're like, you have to drive an hour. Yeah, to the nearest or yeah. forty five minutes at least. Didn't like, love it. That's yeah. I mean, it Fine. was what it was. But the, the interesting part of New Orleans, the city's great. But I, to me, the interesting part is the fucking all the suburbs that surround it because there's yes. twisted shit. Well, it's much like here. Like you go yeah. to Staten Island, you're like, well, it's a whole different place. Oh, and it's yeah, part of New York City. Yeah, it's people just hanging. Just everyone's wearing Sal Volcano masks. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of great comedy out of Staten Island. Oh, yeah, dude. Jost, Jost. Eddie Pepitone, Jost. Jost, all the Jokers, Pete Davidson. Yeah. I think Dice. Uh, Brooklyn. I'd say he's from Brooklyn. You think? Yeah. Yeah. Give that a goog. Yeah, well. I think it's from Bay, maybe. Wu Tang. Wu Tang. Wu -Tang. Uh, Very Long funny. Long Island's yeah. got a lot of good ones, too. Oh, Long Island's the yeah. best. Long Island's yeah. got a lot of good ones. Ah, shit. This is yeah. Brooklyn, New York. Did he grow up on Staten? No. All right. No. He started at Pips in Sheepshead Bay. Mm. And, um, yeah. All right. Yeah, you're He's right. Sheepshead Bay. Yeah. yeah, there it is. There yeah. it is. All Sheepshead right. Sheepshead Bay. Uh, Where even is Sheepshead? I mean, Long Island. South Shore? Where's Long Island? South no, no. Where, where's Long Island? <laughs> <laughs> Sheepshead Bay is it's Woody Allen and Larry David. Yeah, I think it's the other side of the Verrazano. When you pass the Verrazano, I think that gets to be Sheepshead Bay, the Howard Beach right. area. Right. When you keep going, yeah. yeah, you keep going on the on the uh, belt. And Colin yeah. Quinn is Park Slope, and you're Park Slope. Park Me Slope and Colin was, Quinn are Park yeah. Slope. I'm Park Slope. Slope. Yeah. Oh, Me yeah. and Colin Quinn grew up three blocks from each other. Whoa. He was. He's my brother's age. That's crazy. A lot. My brother's a lot older than me. Damn. Yeah. BK. Well, Do they know each other? Like, who? Colin. My brother and Colin, I don't know. I don't think they knew mm. each other at all. Did the Irish and but the Greeks hang out? <laughs> did, where I grew up, there were not many Greeks. Like yeah. Greeks were in Astoria. So oh, my I... parents grew up my parents grew up like in Flatbush, you know, as immigrants, and then moving to Park Slope then was like the big it was like, you know, when I had a kid, you like made it to make it Park Slope. It was a bunch of like uh, boomer, uh, like hippie, uh, gentrified Park Slope. Before that it was like all working class Irish, like Colin Quinn mm. family. And they, they still have a St. Paddy's Day parade in, oh. in Bay Ridge and in Park Slope. I remember one time, like years ago, you came to my apartment. I was living in Prospect Heights at the time. You came to my apartment, you're like, dude, this neighbor, this block, 
Oh, that's it used all. to be where cops came to get blowjobs and shit. Yeah. Really? Yeah. So it, it's been yeah. interesting to watch the city. Change, yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah, I mean, we're kind of past that now. I mean, sure, it's been sure. happening yeah. for so long, but yeah. it is interesting when you, even just like under the bridge, like Dumbo is like the biggest, most expensive. Right. Yeah. And like, it was just a ghost town when I was a kid. Well, he would say that about the West Side Highway, how yeah. scandalous that was. Yeah. And now it's, Yeah, and know, Soho. Even Alphabet yeah. City was Oh, there. I remember yeah, Soho. Yeah, that's right. Oh, Dead yeah. Zone. yeah. Wait, Sam, where did you grow up? Originally Chelsea, then Upper East. Okay, okay. Yeah. That's wow. funny, because I, yeah, I would love to have seen, I would love to have seen New York in like the ni- early 90s. Well, everybody talks about the romance of, oh, yeah. the old days and the hookers and the blowjobs and the porno it. theaters, but yeah. now we got a fucking Van Leeuwen ice cream shop on the west side and you don't get stabbed. Oh, yeah. I'm so not, what's better? I'm that's saying, better. I'm yeah, not saying I want to get better. I'm not saying yeah. I want to get stabbed. But Midnight I'm Cowboy just... looks good on film. Yeah. yeah that's no. the thing. <laughs> Everything about what happened in New York is better. Of course, I always okay. said that. Like this, I've seen was, it though. I, yeah. It was traumatic. Yeah, it. it was horrible. It sucked. Really, it was horrific, dude. Dead cars. It was, was steaming. Just like you got jumped all the time. Like it was just bad. It was like it was nothing good. It was nothing good about. Why it. do people live here then? Yeah, I don't know. Why not just move? I don't know why my parents did that. <gasps> yeah, I don't fucking. That's know. interesting. Yeah, I don't know why they yeah. did that. But look, yeah. yeah, look who's talking. I grew up I mean, in a shitty part of New like, Orleans. My, like before, before we moved to the, like, I grew up like New Orleans East is originally where I grew up, and that shit was. That was rough too. Fucking yeah. terrible. And you yeah. like, but then you look, you like, I remember like you as a kid, or like when we finally moved, it was like, why were we there for so long? Yeah. And as an adult, you're like, yeah, sometimes you make a choice, you just kind of ride that fucking choice out. And I think yeah. our parents you know? were just, it was different. Well, my parents at least, I think my mom lived under Nazi occupation. My dad fought in the Korean War. And I just think they were like, this isn't that bad. Where oh, under right. Nazi occupation did your mom live? Crete, the island of Crete in Greece. Uh-huh. Yeah. Jesus. Big battle. Christ. There. Big important historical battle. Wow. Yeah. Look at that. I mean, just the graffiti, the newspaper, this one lone businessman who's like, yeah. fuck my life. Yeah. It was like that. The Italian kids were bad, too. It was just, they were, it was bad. Italians really chilled out. Because when I was a kid, yeah. Italians were like scary. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. swarthy, chest hair at 12, leather jackets. The new ethnicities came in. The Albanians came in. The Russians came in. They got that Albanians blood, they got the that scariest, blood feud. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Russians and they, they were the newer immigrants. And then they- yeah. They all started as cr- crime. Like the, even the Jews in Brooklyn started as crime. Yeah. yeah. You know, the Italians, everyone does a little crime. Go oh, ahead, yeah, dude. Except for Greeks, because we're not fucking animals, you know? <laughs> <laughs> just the open businesses. You ever, you ever read I mean, did you watch t- season two of The Wire? Oh, yeah. And the oh, Greeks are just yeah. fucking whacking everybody. You're like, eh. You ever re- reached out to Dimitri Martin? Yeah, I'm friends with him. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, he's, he's a, a great guy. Stamos, and he's a really nice guy. Oh, the Greeks yeah. really stick together, the huh? The Greeks do. The Greeks do stick together. Uh, so yeah. do the. Uh, you boys with you know, Stamos. Huh? Yeah. Your boys with John Stamos. Yeah, yeah. He's a good guy. How'd that happen? He reached out to me. He was started wow. watching my comedy. And he just loved it. And then he we, he reached out to me. I made some jokes about him. My nickname on History Hyenas was Special Needs Stamos. <laughs> so I think maybe you heard that. And he just he was just like, I'd watched your comedy. I love it. And then from there, we just, uh, yeah, we just struck up a friendship. Well, maybe then, after this, Madonna will yeah. reach out and we'll have her on. Yeah. Finally. And I went to one of those like Hollywood parties. It's so interesting. Really? Do really, tell. It was. It's just like you know. It was. It's like this Greek guy who does this uh, party every year. I won't get into specifics, but like every all the big. He was a big. He was big in Hollywood. One mm. of the most powerful people, and he's retired now. But like, it was interesting to see. You know, everyone has this view that like you're know, drinking baby blood. It's just a bunch of rich people oh, yeah. talking about what their next project. Yeah, you know, yeah. Got a call for their agent. And, right. You know, Michael Chiklis was there. Maria Menounos. Wow. Nia Vardalis and Stamos and Dimitri was there. Whoa. Yeah. Like all the Greeks kind of yeah toga kinda, party. Yeah, they kind of <laughs> toga party. Yeah. yeah just, and um, you know, well, and you it's just in a nice house, and they're just rich, and they're disconnected, and they live in L.A. And wow, you, know, you invented anal. We did a lot. We invented a lot of things. Math. Uh, Math. Yoga. Philosophy. Yeah. Democracy. Yeah. Democracy. Yeah. Democracy. Yeah. Salad. Yeah. yeah, a lot of good things happened down there. Yeah. Kind of started comedy, too. What? Yeah, yeah we did. Yeah. Yeah. Plato? Yeah. No. Uh, Sophocles. Ar- Aristophanes. Aristophanes. Uh, We're like the Al Bundy of countries. Like, <laughs> mm. we were big back the back the entertainer, day, and now we sell <laughs> shoes. <laughs> the Greeks haven't done a, much in a long time. Yeah, yeah. you got Stephanopoulos. We got no in the diaspora. We've done quite well. Yeah, Greeks, Greeks, yeah, Greek. We got Stav. Stavi's doing great. Doing yeah. great. Yeah, doing great. Yeah, yeah. We'll I support mean, each other. 
It's also when you get a lot done up front, you're like, hey, let's take a few centuries That's off. That's true. That's true. <laughs> no, because yeah. interesting. Yeah. The Greeks yeah. did more, a lot, more than and a then few they centuries. were fucking yeah, conquered. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's take a millennia. Just, <laughs> wait, who conquered? The them? Greeks have just been conquered since antiquity. Whoa. The Romans, yeah. and then uh, for a long period of time, and then after that, it was uh, the Ottomans, mm. and then after that, for four years, the Germans. Yeah. And Damn. then we got our independence from the Turks, and then yeah. you guys and the Turks not doing too hot right now. They, they, Crips and Crips and Blood. Yeah. yeah, it's not really. They don't, you know. Yeah. But it works, dude. <laughs> it like they hate each other, but there's no more bloodshed. Yeah. That's All what right. I wish for, like the Middle East. It's sort of yes. like the yeah. UN needs to go in there and just go. You guys are gonna hate each other. Yeah, it's like you know, you know how you, like sometimes dogs don't get along. Sure, yeah. like those people just don't get along. Yeah. There's yeah. nothing that's going to fix it. Right. So you got to get the whole country in there, right. the whole world in there, and just go, this is a UN, like they do in Cyprus. So Cyprus, and actually it was just the anniversary of that, right, where they're celebrating Cyprus. But Cyprus is north and south Cyprus. So the Greeks are on one side, the Turks are on the other. There's a line, a UN line mm. to keep the peace. And everyone just fucking eats falafels and tzatzikis. Wow. And they just hate each other. They hate each other, but it is all in the same food. They have all this That's food. true. Yeah. Yeah. There's yeah. a lot of crossover with the Ottomans and stuff. But a lot good, of similarities. Good food, to, that makes you not want to fight. After a hummus, yeah. pita, yeah. falafel, you're like, I right, do. Yeah. I'm not going out there. Get a whole fucking yeah. wall of salmon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the salmon in there. Like, all right. Fuck yeah. it. <laughs> Just like enough, though. Just Send them some bodega out. cat. Huh? Yeah, well, yeah. Why can't? Uh, By the way, this hundred proof the, is the, the Irish fight. The Irish guy. I know Norman's not in on the. You, you really don't like the hundred proof? I like it. I just thought the middle one was better. The ninety four. But we might as well go a hundred if we're gonna go because really? yeah, it's just got a good round number. It's a hundred, baby. We're to the moon. Yeah, like Gleason. Like fucking. We're gonna have to make a Manhattan with it to make sure that holds up. That's true. No. Well, All right, we'll see how that goes. We'll plug some dates, guys. Oh, they're coming geez. up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, for me, uh, Syracuse, August second, and Albany, um, August third, upstate, and then um, uh, um, St. Louis Ooh. and uh, Dania Beach in hey, Florida. There we go in one. September, and then um, Soul Joel's, Soul Joel's, um, and then Town. Tacoma. Um, Washington, then I'll be at Skankfest, and more dates are coming in for the rest of the year. Hell yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, Milwaukee, all that. Just go to my website. Levity Live. Yeah. yeah. What but this got, next week, Syracuse and Albany. There you go. Fuck. Go yeah, Orange. Um, uh, August 18th. No, August 16th through the 18th. I'm at the Mothership. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Who are you bringing? Mothership. Uh, I'm using Howard Hall. Remember Howard? I love Howard yeah, Hall. Yeah, he lives down in uh, Austin now. He's a beast. So, yeah, he's great. Um, but, yeah, Mothership. And then August 31st, Crystal Ballroom in uh, Somerville. Mm. It's at in New Orleans, Louisiana, August 25th. Oh, that's, yeah, tip, that Tipitina is doing with David Cross. And they're going, going back on the road with David. Uh, check out the site, you know, MichonePatton.com. Got a lot of dates. But, yeah, Mothership, I'm excited. The Crystal Ballroom, really excited. All these. But also, uh, September 2nd, the FX show comes out. Whoa! Yeah, so, yeah. Give that a Engli go. It's called English Teacher. Um, wow, that's awesome. Whoa, finally. Out. Yeah, it's coming out on September 2nd. Uh, we shot it earlier this year. Is it's it about school? Yeah, it's, okay. it's great. It, I've seen half the episodes. It's legit, capital G, great. It's fucking exciting. awesome. I'm I want excited. to watch that. Yeah. Hell yeah. Um, Patton can act. Yes, he can. Wow. Yes, he can. <laughs> Been acting like a comedian for 20 years. <laughs> 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 All right. <laughs> See, I'm turning my dad. He's a dad. God damn it. <laughs> oh, man. You don't know how many times I'd wrestle with that idea. <laughs> 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 All right, hey, I'm in the Hamptons doing a one-nighter at the Canoe Place Inn. It's, I think it's almost sold out. Red Bank, New Jersey, Poughkeepsie, Torrington, Connecticut. Never heard of it. Inglewood, New Jersey. I'm going all over. I've been to every city, so I got to do these fucking shit towns. You're doing Red Bank twice. Oh, fuck me. Yeah. Guadalajara. I'm going back down to Mexico City. Oh, I yeah. fell in love with it. So I said, book yeah, me some gigs. Yeah. Colorado Springs, Fort Collins, St. Louis, Atlanta, Vancouver, Portland. I mean, uh, Orlando, Fort Lauderdale, Portland, London, Ontario, Toronto, Newport. Hold on. <laughs> Monterey, Oakland, Winnipeg. What do you got, Sam B? The uh, when, when does this come out? I, yeah, I, 
Oh, uh, yeah. Shit, so forget uh, about my uh, dates. August 4th. <laughs> uh, uh, shit. It's all right. Oh, go up. Yeah, I got Prior Lake, Minneapolis with Chrissy D and Nemesh. Then we got Baltimore, uh, August 15th through 17th with Magoobies. We got Stress Factory, August 22nd through 24th. My new shit sucks, so I got to write some new shit, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm working. Come out and see him, guys. Clubs. <laughs> uh, Ni- Niagara Falls, Ontario. And then we got, uh, I'm all over Europe. We got a Yolo Euro Tour, London, Belfast, Dublin, Paris, Amsterdam, Two in Amsterdam. We added in Amsterdam. Thanks for doing that. Copenhagen, Oslo, and Stockholm. Uh, follow us all on punchup.live slash Samurai slash Mark Norman. Slash. You, are you guys on Punch Up? I'm getting on it right now. Get you gotta it. Great. do it. Yeah, got it. Is Drink. it really helpful? Oh, yeah. It's helping. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're yeah. all on it. Bodega Cat, uh, whiskey.com. We're sold out right now. We're about to get more. Watch my new special, please, on Prime Video. Uh, appreciate the feedback. And uh, love you guys for listening. Follow both these guys on social media. Yes. They're fucking great comics. Please. Yes. Thanks, man. And you want right. your pod. Uh, Giannis Pappas Hour. Check it out. Oh, there sweet. you go. Yeah. All right. Thanks, gang. We'll see you. Get some bodega cat. And uh, yeah, praise Allah. Sunday's the day for my next fender. A bit of fever wreck. You know the beer juice close. I've had a little too much bourbon. And Norman's talking shit about the fucking post. Doesn't look like I remember her